Spears Computer World here with the Zara Designer Pro X11. Today I'll be showing you how to remove that background. So stay tuned for more and I'll show you how to do that. So Spears Computer World, we're here again to show you how to remove that background. Now you'll see on my intro video that I had some things missing. That's because I used the magic eraser to remove the iPhone, the cup and saucer, and then the notepad. But what if you want to erase the background and just leave the MacBook Air? Well, there's a tool you can start off using by masking. Masking allows you to mask the object that you want to keep in the picture. So I'm just going to mask the MacBook Air as best as I can, as much as I can. That way it ensures that once you remove the background you have minimal work to do where you don't have to clean that much of the edges so what I'm going to do now is kind of minimize the size of the ballpoint kind of get as small as I can and I just want to kind of get around the edges of the perimeter of the MacBook I probably could have gone up just a little size more In fact, I'm going to kind of go up just a little bit so I can cover more area. There we go. I'll go over here. So as you can see, it isn't that bad. One thing I'll notice, I'm using my mouse pad on the laptop itself, so I'm I'm being extra cautious here, so I'm just going to kind of get a little bit of the webcam on here. Try to get that corner. And like I said, this is just, I'm masking as much as possible so that once I start messing with the background, I won't get a distortion that it'll know, okay, okay I want to keep the MacBook. So next you want to go to your eraser tool and just simply start erasing. So I kind of just go here and just kind of start erasing what I don't want. Oops. Kind of start erasing what I don't want. This is the beauty of the eraser tool. So I'm just going to kind of go here and just erase as much as I can. Kind of hit the corner here because I don't want this. Next thing I'm going to do, hold on, is I'm going to hit the erase background. And what it's going to do is it's going to erase the part that I was erasing and hopefully there you go now had I probably erased more of the background I could have uh, done a little more but the beauty of it is, is, it, it is, is it has done the heavy lifting for me so now all I have to do now is go in and clean up anything that is still showing And I'm not going to remask or anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to about 500. What 500 allows me to do is to really get in there. So let me increase the ballpoint here. That way I'm able to get close up onto the MacBook and kind of get those gray areas. See, had I kept it at about 75, I would have probably deleted some of 
the MacBook itself, but from this angle here, I can really get in. Really get in there. And as you see, I kind of nicked a little bit of the MacBook. That's why you want to go small when you get in these tight areas. Then once you kind of get outside a little bit, you can kind of increase the size of your ballpoint. Ah. So I'm going to zoom back out here in a minute. To see what we have. And of course, you're going to want to take your time. But as you can see, I have a cleaner area here. So what I'm going to do is kind of zoom in more to here. I'm going to kind of get rid of this right here. I'm going to go in probably about 500 again. That way I can clean it up. As closely as possible. I got a little corner there, so let me restart. And now I'm going to kind of go out, zoom out a little bit more. And so as you can see, it's getting better. I'll have to zoom in just a little bit more on each one. But for the most part, you see how you're able to remove the majority of the background and then not have that much work to do to kind of clean up the rough edges. So it allows you to get that uh, smoothness uh, around the actual object that you want to keep. And that's primarily it. Use your masking tool, then use the eraser to erase the part that you don't want. And then expect some cleanup based on how much of the object you want to keep, how much of it you mask. So if you have any questions, please leave your comments in the comment section below. This is Spears Computer World signing out.